Houses South Africa, and thanks for listening to Farmers Inside Track. Welcome to episode 292. I'm your host, Dawn Umdu. Now, over the next few months, we'll captivate you by showcasing the groundbreaking initiatives within the agricultural sector through Agri Enterprises, an agri essay subsidiary that seeks to not only highlight the innovative efforts of people within the sector, but also to acquaint you with some of the remarkable agricultural businesses who are spearheading transformation changes in both the sector and the country. I now hand over to Duncan Masiwa, Food from Zanzi's assistant editor, and Nkosanati Matlangu, Youth Employment Portfolio Head at Momenta Metropolitan. As part of an agri-enterprises campaign, we are profiling the Women in Farming program. Joining me now is Nkosanati Masangu, who is the Portfolio Head of Youth Employment at Momentum Metropolitan. Nkosanati, thank you for joining Farmers Inside Track. Thank you so much for having me and looking forward to engaging with you. Great. Definitely looking forward to hearing more about the program. Maybe let's start there. Give me an overview of the Women in Farming program and its objectives. As Momentum Metropolitan, we are very excited to have embarked on this journey, especially when we're looking at how we can play a meaningful role when it comes to giving economic activity opportunities for women in that fact. The Women in Farming initiative has been two years now. This is our second year. And our objective is to you know, help to stimulate and encourage emerging entrepreneurs, especially female entrepreneurs, by creating a knowledge-based economies within rural areas, as our focus currently is in KwaZulu-Natal, and to help address the socio-economic problems faced by women in the agriculture space, and most of all, market access for female-owned enterprises. It's quite exciting for me that Momentum Metropolitan is involved in the agricultural sector. Tell us a bit about Momentum Metropolitan's foundation's journey leading up to its first agricultural project. What inspired the initiation? We never saw it coming as well. And since 2018, uh, the Momentum Metropolitan Foundation focus uh, shifted to focus solely on youth employment, youth empowerment through unlocking economic activity opportunities. And through our programs, we're looking at programs, number one, that are aimed at upskilling young people for employment. But on the other side, we also saw an opportunity to help young entrepreneurs. And the Women in Farming Initiative was our very first entrepreneurial program where we said we want to make an impact in areas where we can also bridge the gender gap and get more female participants in those male-dominated sectors. And Agri became one of them as we were approached by Agri Enterprises with this uh, wonderful initiative where we also saw an opportunity to play a role in bridging the gender gap, but also making sure that economic activity opportunities are accessed by women. It's quite inspiring, Kosanata, I have to say. Uh, Of course, in many parts of the world, women have traditionally played a significant role, but often unrecognized in the agricultural sector. How would you say does the Women in Farming Project address that issue? When you look at each time or each quarter when the unemployment stats are released, you also see that especially black women are amongst the vulnerable groups and they are not economically active as they would want to be. And with this program, we also looked at the challenges that women are faced with, especially in a sector such as agriculture. And when you look on the flip side, South Africa, we have a number of female-headed households and women that are helping to put bread on the table, making sure that their families are fed. And when you come into the agri-sector, we've seen that women are involved in agriculture, but, you know, they are more in the background and they still the catalyst in making sure that the, the sector in its entirety is thriving. So this Women in Farming initiative is helping to put women on the driver's seat. And especially when we're looking at young female farmers, number one, we never thought they existed. And here we are starting this initiative with 60 female agripreneurs. And this will help, you know, to be the catalyst that fast tracks, you know, transformation in the sector. Maybe share some stories or examples of women whose lives have been positively impacted by the project. Success stories, that's what we strive for. And when we started this journey beginning of 2022, we didn't know much about agriculture. Little did we know about the challenges that the participants that we are working with face in their respective businesses and communities. In terms of the growth journey or the growth trajectory that we've seen happening here, 
within our very first year, we have managed to even work on the softer skills in terms of how do we build confidence? How do we make these young females to believe in their abilities and also, you know, be encouraged, you know, to, to run their businesses and also, you know, face challenges, take charge, but most importantly, grow, you know, their economic conditions within their communities. So in as far as the success stories that, that we've seen so far is, you know, over and above knowledge, the upskilling, the capacity building, we have seen now women having access to land. We have seen how the local authorities, such as the chiefs and the indunas in those respective areas that these businesses are operating in, they have, you know, embraced this partnership and also, you know, an opportunity for them to play a meaningful role in as far as making land accessible and also making, you know, opening those doors to market access and inviting these participants to market days and linking them up with relevant stakeholders who can also help mentor them going forward. So this is an ongoing journey, but we have started to see some positive signs in terms of how to grow these female ran enterprises. You talk about building confidence and helping women take their agribusinesses forward. And of course, farming often comes with unique challenges and opportunities as well. What are some of the challenges and opportunities that the program has introduced to participants? And what kind of support or resources does the program have in place to address these? In every learning journey, you do come across challenges. This program itself, I mean, had its own fair of challenges. And what we've learned as Momentum Metropolitan is that in the beginning stages of this program, while we were doing more of your in-class training, most of these business women or business leaders were taken away from their businesses. So they were not hands-on on a day-to-day -day basis in their businesses for a period of about four to six weeks. And during their absence, there were some unintended consequences where the case that and floods came into play, where now some of the businesses were negatively affected by the floods and the business owners were not close by to see if they put a way to remedy the situations, especially when you're looking at the poultry farmers where they're working with chickens. Some of the chickens were unfortunately affected negatively by the water, the drowning, and that's a big, big setback. But with those learnings as well, we said, as partners, let us see how we can help them bounce back. How can we lift them up again so that they believe in the program, but also continue to believe and invest in their businesses. So we have helped where possible in as far as helping to resuscitate those businesses, but also looking at how do we put preventative measures for their businesses to also manage to avoid facing the similar challenges. And I mean, partners such as Agri Enterprises and Umgibe Training Institution also came into the picture to say, how do we collectively now help these business women or these entrepreneurs bounce back from the setback that they have just went through? Because Anati, it's been inspiring hearing about Momentum Metropolitan's involvement and contribution to South Africa's agricultural sector. Maybe as a, as a closing, why is it important for Momentum Metropolitan Foundation to empower women through, through such initiatives? Empowering of women and empowering of disadvantaged South Africans is one of our key objectives. And we believe that we can only reach success if we work together. This program also gives us the opportunity to play a meaningful role in making sure that we are part of the building blocks when it comes to building our socioeconomic landscape. We know that we are faced with a high unemployment rate amongst the young South Africans. And through that, we also know that the women are also disadvantaged in a way that they are not being given enough economic activity opportunities. So as Momentum Metropolitan, we aspire to work with young people we want to be the partner that help young people reach their aspirations in as far as economic activity ambitions are concerned. And this program helps us to create a platform where we could see potential job creators, but also empower women who are playing a meaningful role, you know, growing their economies in the areas that they reside in and being active participants in this important sector that is agriculture in as far as food security is concerned as well. Thanks, Duncan. And a big thanks to you, Nkosanati Matlangu, Youth Employment Portfolio Head at Momentum Metropolitan. The work you're doing is absolutely amazing. And you can, of course, read more on this by visiting www.foodformzanzi.co.za. And that's a wrap. From me, Numdu, Duncan Masiwa, our technical producer, Megan van der Fendt, and the rest of the hashtag Team Foodformzanzi. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. 
Life in South Africa can be a lot. I mean, scroll through Twitter for a minute and tell me I'm wrong. Thank God for South Africans though, right? We're inspiring and even on the bad days, we fight back with a smile. That's why I love Food for Mzanzi so much. They're not ashamed to celebrate the ordinary unsung heroes who work every day to put food on our nation's tables. Go to foodformzanzi.co.za and never miss an inspiring story.